Good morning friends, welcome back to my channel Coding Environment. In today's video, I am going to solve a problem to find a maximum value in a stack in order 1 and we can't use any additional stack also to solve this problem. This question you may get in any technical interview and you should know how you can solve this problem. So to solve this problem, what logic we are going to follow is I am going to explain in my next slide. So let's see how we can solve this problem. Now to solve this problem, you can see I have created a stack of size 5. So let me mark the index value of these stacks. So I'm marking that uh, index value here. The index 0 is here. Index 1, index 2, index 3 and index 4. So now let's see how we can solve this problem. Now suppose if I'm inserting 2 into this stack where it will go and fit. The 2 will go and fit at this position. So 2 will go and sit at this position. So this is the stack value. Now you can think what is this local max. So you can think what is this local max value, right? See this local max value is nothing but it will always contain what is the maximum value in this stack at a given point of time. So if you see here, the local max at this point of time is 2 only because there is only one element stored in this stack. So we'll fill this position with 2. Now suppose again if you are going to insert 6 into this stack, it will go and sit at this position. So 6 will set here. Now when we are inserting this 6 into this stack value, we have to compare this 6 with the local max value. At this point of time, the local max value is 2. And if you are comparing the 6 with 2, 6 is again greater than 2 and we can set this local max value also as a 6. Now suppose again you are trying to insert a value 3 into this stack, you will go and set this value as a 3. But when you are going to set this local max value, as you can see, 3 is not greater than 6. So we will set this local max value again at 6 only. Now again, if you are going to insert 1 here, we will go and insert the value 1 at this position. But what will the local max value at this point of time? Again, 1 is not greater than 6, so this value will contain 6 only. Again, if you are going to insert 8, 8 will get set at this stack value. And what is the local max value? Again, you are going to compare this 8 with 6. Now 8 is greater than 6, so you will set this local max value as a 8. Now you can see at any point of time, if anyone is asking what is the local max value in this stack, you can directly go and give the top value of this stack. So if you do a top value on this stack, you will get at this point of time that 8 is the local max value. Again, after that, 6 is the local max value and which is the maximum value in this stack. So in this way we can solve this problem. So you have to create a class which will have two data members. One will contain the local max value and the other will contain the stack value. So let's run this program on Eclipse and see how these things are getting executed. So moving to Eclipse now. So for the sake of the time, I have already written the Java class for this problem. So as I explained, I will write a class which will have an int value which will contain the value of this stack and again there will be a local max value. Now in this if you see there is a constructor which is just setting the size of that stack. Now if you come here and see its push method, this is the main method which will do most of the operation. Now when we are inserting any element into this stack, what we were doing? We were first comparing that the top is equal to size minus 1. If top is equal to size minus 1, it means that the stack is full. And if the top is not equal to size minus 1, we will go and increment the top and then try to put the value. 
Now, if the top is equal to 0, it means we are inserting the first element into the stack and then we can set the first element as a value also as equal to element and local max value also as the element. So if you go and see this problem, what we are doing when we inserted 2 here, we just simply went and set the local max value also as a 2. If the top position is equal to 0, we can simply go and set the local max value and the stack value at the same. Now, if this is not the first element which we are inserting into the stack, what we have to do? So, when we are inserting the 6 element into this stack, we went and compared this 6 with this 2. So, basically, if the 6 is greater than 2, we will set this local max value at 6. And if not, we will set this value as a local max value. So here also we have to write the same code. What we are doing is like compare the value of local max of just previous element which we have inserted into the stack with the current element. And if this is the condition, then we can go and set the value as the element and the local max value as the previous element local max value. Else, we can just go and set the local max value and the value also as the element only. That's what we have done at the time of inserting 6. So, when we are inserting 6, 6 is greater than 2. So, we set that local max value and the stack value also as the 6. Now, when we are trying to do the max, we can go and simply take the top value from there and then say that this is the local max value. Now let's run this program into the debug mode and see how these things are getting executed. So the most important method in this program is the push method and the max method. So we'll put here some uh, debug pointers and here also I have put. So now let's run this program into the debug mode and see how these things are getting executed. So you can see I'm creating a stack of size 5 only. So now let's debug this program and see the things. So when I have created a stack of five size 5, you can see that the size is 5. Now if I am trying to push one element into this stack, what it is going to do? It will go and try to see that the stack is full or not. As the stack is not full, it will go into this else statement and it will increment the top value from minus 1 to 0. So now the top value is 0. If the top is 0, it means that we are inserting the first element into this stack. So we can go and set the value and the local max value with the element itself. Now you can see we inserted the first element into the stack. So 2 got inserted into the stack. Now after that, if we are trying to find what is the local max value into the stack, as there is only one element into the stack, we will get this 2 as a maximum uh, max value will get 2 as a max value. So see this maximum value in the stack is currently 2 because we have inserted only one element. Now let's push one more element into the stack. So this time we are going to push 6 into this stack. Again the stack is not full and it will go into this else statement. So the top will be so the top will be incremented from 0 to 1 and this top will not be equal to 0. So it will go into this else statement. Now you can see what we are doing here, we are comparing the value of local max of the previous element with the current element value. So we are going to insert 6 into this stack and we are comparing the 6 with the local max value. So at this point of time, you can see the local max value is nothing but the 2. Now the 2 is not greater than 6. So what will happen? It will go into this else statement and run this as top dot value equal to n and basically it will go and set the value and the local max value at 6 only. So let's see this. So you can see here it set that value 6 as a value and the local max value. So at this point of time 6 is the local max value into this stack. So you can see here here the local max value and in this case the local max value we set as a 6. Now if we try to get what is the local max value in this stack, it will say 6. See here, we got the output as a 6. Now again, if you are trying to put 3 into this stack, let's see how these things are getting executed. Now this is common thing which I explained at the last time. Now this is the most important part. 
So here you can see we are trying to insert 3 into this stack and at this point of time what is the local max value? Last time we have seen that the local max value is 6. Now here the 6 is greater than 3. So in this case we are going to set the value as a 3 but the local max value will be set as 6 only. So let's see what we have set. So just check here. So this is the first element we inserted, this is the second and this is the third element we have inserted. So see here, the value we have set it as a 3 and the local max value we have set it as a 6. So this is the way we are going to do. Now if at this point of time if we are trying to find what is the local max value, it will say the local max value in the stack is 6. Now again if we are trying to push 1, the local max value will be nothing but 6 only. See here, if I am going to see here, see, the local max value is nothing but the 6, but the value is equal to 1. So this is the stack value and this is the local max value because we have inserted 1 and 6 is greater than 1. So you can see here, now you will get 6 as a local max value. Now again, if you are trying to insert 8, this time the local max value will get overwritten. So, it will execute this program. See here. Now, if you go and see this, let me show you. Uh, see here, the local max value is now 8. And at this point of time, you can see the local max value is 8 only. Now, if you try to pop one element from the stack, the 8 will get it popped out right. And after that, the 6 will again be the local max value. So, if I am trying to do a pop here, and again, if I'm trying to find what is the S max value at this point of time, 6 will be the S max value. So here you can see the max method is finding that maximum element into the stack in order 1, not in order n. So this was the question, right? We have to solve this problem using order 1. So uh, this is all about solving this stack problem, which you can get in any technical interview. So, uh, hope you have understand it. If you have any doubt, please write it in comment section. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and stay connected. Till then, have a great day and goodbye.